Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In this video, I'm going to attempt to show you two different ways to draw this, uh, getting a little bit different results. This one was drawn with the artistic media tool. So we're just going to start from scratch and draw a leaf. Several ways you could do this. Uh, one way that's pretty good is draw a circle. Uh, hit the plus key on the keyboard and draw another circle. Start moving and hold down the control button until it gets to the quadrant. And then I always just fill that in with the Smart Fill tool. Doesn't really matter what color you're using. And I'm going to left click, right click. We can get rid of these two boxes. I actually hit P, I always do that. And then I'm going to hit the plus key and I'm going to hold down the shift key so it kind of grows from the center. And then I'm going to grab both of them. I'm going to hit B like in boy to get it to the bottom. I'm going to take the smart full tool again and we get this shape. Of course, I should be using black, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to go ahead and uh, make it black. Now we got this item and it's a solid item. So I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and rotate it 45 degrees. And then actually just take the original away and then control D this one and rotate it. Well, we could do this. We could just mirror it horizontally and then take those two nodes and match them up. And there's a lot, you know, there's different ways you could do this. You know, if you, I don't like that look because it's a little bit fatter. Uh, one way we could do it is uh, left click and take this whole thing and weld it. No, that's not what we want. We actually just want to take away these center lines. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that line away and that line away and then go ahead and take these lines away and go ahead and take all those lines away so it kind of looks a little different. Now, the best way to do it is just to smart fill it. And you could have done two separate leaves and made them skinnier and that might not have happened. We're going to go ahead and make it black, take away the outline. And then this is where you could, you know, whatever you want to do, let's rotate it to negative 45, 90, 90 degrees, and negative 90 degrees, get it. We're going to make it smaller. And then this is where you could use the artistic media tool. Um, we're going to take that one and hit the plus key and then just move it out of the way. We're still going to use the blend tool. I'm going to make it smaller. Now what we can do is grab both of them and hit E that makes them even. Now we can go to effects and blend and let's blend them seven times, see what it looks like. We could actually do the, well, the way I did it, we could use nine, get them a little bit closer together. You see they're kind of, and there's a way to get rid of this with acceleration, but it's actually did a pretty good job. Now we've used the blend tool, so we need to go and break the blend apart. I always go to an object group and ungroup and then, because that way they're individual pieces and then group this together. Now, I'm going to now put this to the side for a second and I'm going to go ahead and get our path. Uh, I made our leaves quite large, so I'm going to make our circle quite large. And there's several ways you could do this. Uh, one, you could use this right here, which is the arc and change it to 180, 180 degrees. And then you could rotate it 45 degrees and you could put whatever, or 90 degrees, put whatever part you want in there. Let's go ahead and make the line black. Let's make it, let's make it eight points. Double click on your pen tool and make it scale to object so it'll work good. Now what we can do is take this set of leaves right here and go to artistic media tool, pick your brush and add right here on this save. And we're gonna call it leaf two. And then just take your artistic media tool and click on your arc and then you're going to have to make this uh, bigger or smaller. Now, 
it's upside down and there's several ways you could do that. You know, you could have redrawn it the other way, but it really works that way because you could always, when you go here, you can go to object, break artistic media apart and see that way it gives you your line back, which we really kind of want. We don't want the line, you know, all the way there so we can take this line and double click on the node there. Well, we have to go to object and convert it to a curve and then grab that and add a node and then take this node away and then that way it's not passed there. Now this is kind of messed up a little bit so we're gonna make it that four points. Go ahead and make it black. So it kind of looks good. And then we're gonna need to mirror it now. Let's take this away for a second. And then just control D and duplicate it. Holding down the control key so it'll mirror it. And you could leave it like that or space it out a little bit. I mean, that's the perfect arch if, depending on what your nudge factor is. Let's set it on one inch and move that out of the way just another inch. Kind of cool and you could do different things to here. You know, take that away. Now, but what I said about it kind of distorting our, distorting our leaves, that's, well, I didn't, when I moved it, I didn't move the, uh, all of it. So we need to, I didn't group it together, so we need to click on that, hold down the shift, click on that, control D or control G to group it, and then nudge it over. And you could play with that, put stuff in the middle, and but it did distort it. So let's back up here where we just get to our path. I should have just made another copy of it. So there's our path. Let's take this one and let's uh, break it apart. And then let's take that one and this one. Let's go ahead and hit E on the keyboard. It really doesn't matter. And grab this and blend it nine times. <clears throat> and then go to here and new path and put it on your path and then blend along full path and rotate all objects. Now you see that the leaves are backwards. So that's a couple of ways you can do it. Um, well, here's how we can do it. Grab your shape tool, turn it into a curve, and you can see they're going from this top to the bottom. Just select one of the nodes and right click and reverse the subpath so it's gonna start that away. Then grab your your blend and go to blend along new path. It's still gonna be backwards look like. Well, it, it did good, but it made the leaves backwards. That's why sometimes it better, let's try to, uh, let's back up here where we just have these two objects. Let's, uh, let's switch them. Whoop, don't wanna do that. Sorry about that. Let's mirror that guy the other way, mirror this guy the other way, and let's go ahead and put it here. Let's, let's go ahead and hit E like on the keyboard. Um, tell you what, let's move this one out a little bit. And then let's grab, let's get that out of the way, grab that and let's blend it nine times. Let's put this out of the way and see it's a blend. So we now we can blend along new path. And that looks a lot better already. And then blend along full path and rotate all objects. Now, I didn't really blend enough. So let's blend it more times this time. Let's blend it 11, blend along full path or blend along new path. Ah, I had a computer glitch. Blend along new path and put it on our path and blend along full object or full long, full path and rotate all objects. And that looks pretty good. It's it. What it did, it didn't distort 
uh, the leaves. You know, we can still change a few things. If you look, that looks pretty good. The bo bottom side actually needs to come to there, but you can change this, but you need to go to object. Let's select it all. I'm making you a little bit confused here. Tell you what, let's do this. Let me get these out of the way. With Let's select it all and go up to object, break the blend apart. And then we can grab that node and quite possibly put it there. There we go. And then we do the same thing we did on the other one. Let's control G to group it. Let's get this out of the way. Control D to duplicate it. Move that two-sided arrow and start moving and hold down the control. Sometimes it does that. Just hold down the control, but I was holding down the shift key. You know, the only kind of, that looks really cool. I like that in the middle. It's not a, when you're doing it this way, it's not a perfect circle. You know, there's other ways to do that, make your blend not quite as long. And you see it's a, you see it's a little bit of an oval shape, but there's a ways around that. So here's the one we did with the artistic media tool. And if you just notice that it changed our leaf pattern a little bit, which is okay. And on this one, I actually added a leaf in the middle to start with. But it, it you know, just, just personal preference and way you can play around with it. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.